Jürgen, a week ago ahead of the first leg, you spoke about your team being underdogs in this tie. As we sit at halfway, 3-0 up from the first leg, how do you change your approach now that you are favourites to go through? First of all, I'm not interested in this kind of labels, uh, favourites and underdog. I thought it's uh, it's the it's common sense to say when you play the if you play in the Champions League um, stage against the, the the winner of the Premier League that you are not the favourite. That was what we were last week, and for me, the whole game is about um, these two legs. So it's not. I'm not interested what changed. You have to go, if how it always is in football, you have to go and lead in a lead and you want to score goals. And at the end, when the final whistle, when anybody yeah, is doing the final whistle, and then you want to have won the game. And it didn't change since then. We are only in the lead. No problem with that. It's better than I could have expected. Looking ahead to, the, back at the last two games for Manchester City and ahead to next season, does it give other teams hope that the City side aren't always invincible? No, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think that City will be worse next year. They had a fantastic season, outstanding season, but they are human beings, thank God. So, and um, they had um, now two results, maybe which, which nobody really expected, um, but we had to play our best to bring that, and, and United for sure used could have well, was a little bit lucky with using the situation. First half, everybody knows they could have scored five, six. It was an outstanding football game, and then if the door is still open, United of course has the strength to go through. But by us at Sweden, uh, we talked a little bit with Pep about the fact that they need to do the perfect game. Uh, coming offensive and keeping clear. How is it to prepare for a game where you know that they are going to come with everything they got? They do it always. I would say that's what how City plays. It's I don't. If you if you saw again if you saw the first half against United, how I said in a normal game for City against one of the best teams in the world, United, they could have scored six goals, <laughs> or maybe should have four at least. So that's their quality so it's not will not be a surprise for us that they that we have we have to be at our best again that's that situation because we created it with a, the boys created with an outstanding performance very very mature and so I'm I'm still excited about opportunity and not anything else I'm really looking forward to the game it will be again a real football game and it's good what's the perfect game scenario for you I, I don't think that it helps a lot. I did, that's that's pretty clear. But it's a perfect game scenario. If we, if we score five, it would be difficult for Manchester. So I know it's not really likely. So it's all about being being stable in the game in all the different moments. Being still being brave, being lively, being high energetic. Try to cause them as many problems as possible and all these things. So it will be football. It's all it's all about football and that against. But that's normal. If you go through, if we go through, if City goes through, then he's waiting Real Madrid probably, Barcelona probably, and Bayern Munich probably. There's no, that <laughs> will be quite intense as well. So it's, it's right. So, because it's the Champions League, it's the best team competition in the world, and um, that's why it should be difficult to go through. So we